So, number number three thought that he would ask number number five whether he wanted to go with him. That's nice. And number number six thought that she would ask number number nine whether she wants to go with her. That's nice. No, it's not. What did you say? I said, no, it's not. It's not nice. It's incredibly boring. Don't be horrid, Henry. I'm not being horrid. I'm just saying it's not nice. Who cares what the number gnomes think anyway? I care. And it is nice. And then number gnome 24 said... Don't be horrid, Henry. I told you, I'm not being horrid. Who's not being horrid? Me. I'm not being horrid. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Look, I even put my breakfast bowl in the sink. All right, then. You can have a green square. Oh, can I have a green square too? What is that anyway? It's a good day, bad day chart. I read about it in I'm a Lady. What's it for? It's so Dad hmm. and I can keep track of how you're doing. Each time you do something selfish or horrid, you get a red square. But if you do something nice and think of others, you get a green square. Ooh, that's clever, Mum. Isn't it, Honey Bundle? So that means green is a good day and red is a bad day. Henry said the number gnomes are boring. Did you say that, Henry? Well... Nice, Peter. I said sorry. Just because you say sorry doesn't mean you're being nice. Yes, it does. <sighs> Can't believe mine is all red and yours is all green. You're such a worm. Hey, that's not fair. You know the rules, Henry. Huh. Well, I can't believe you didn't have any selfish thoughts yesterday. What about when you told Goody Goody Gordon that peas aren't really that good for you? And so you would eat his for him. I was protecting him from himself. He eats too many peas. Although... I did spend a few moments thinking about my birthday yesterday, and that was selfish. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! So easy being me, I'm hard Henry. And then when the water reaches 100 degrees Celsius, you can make a nice cup of tea. Meet you at the climbing frame at break time. Meet you at the climbing frame at break time. That lost snail brain. The climbing frame is ours. And then you can dunk your biscuits in it. No, it's not. It's ours. 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 Ours, ours, ours. Ours, ours, ours. Margaret, Henry, straight to Miss Oddbod's office after class. No! to get to. Huh, not if I have anything to do with it. Oh, yeah. You and whose army? Me and my army, Mr Bossy Big Boots. My girl power army, a.k.a. the Secret Club. Oh, yeah. The Purple Hang Gang could beat the Secret Club any time. That's what you think, Henry. <laughs> You were saying we can't let them get away with this. What are we going to do now, Henry? We're going to reclaim our climbing frame. Come on, Henry. Let's play football. They're not worth it. Today the climbing frame, tomorrow the world. What does that mean? I don't know. We will fight them on the playground. We will fight them on the playing fields. We will fight them on the... <laughs> <laughs> Oi, you lot! Oh, sorry, 
Henry didn't know how long you'd be. See what I have to put up with? What you gonna do now, Henry? We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't over till it's over. Lunchtime, girls. What do we want? Oh, oh climbing, climbing framework. framework. Where do we want it? Um, <laughs> where have they all gone? Who cares? Victory is ours. I know where they've gone. Look, it's lunchtime. Hey, come on. If we go to lunch now, we'll never get the climbing frame back. Don't let them get the better of you now. Magic is as magic does, said Mr Trumpington. And if you all watch me carefully, you'll see magic like you've never seen before. <gasps> so, the merry magician picked up her wand and waved it at Mr Trumpington just like this. <gasps> and with one whisk of the wand, he was gone. <gasps> Vanished into thin air and in his place was a pile of pink sparkles. <sighs> now, children, did you enjoy that? I loved it, Miss Lovely. I loved it so much I could burst, Miss Lovely. I loved it so much I could burst three times over, Miss Lovely. Could I borrow your magic wand, Miss Lovely? Oh, well, I don't see why not, Peter. But you must look after it. It's very precious. I got it at fairy school, and it's the only one of its kind. Oh, I'll look after it, Miss Lovely. Just don't go turning anyone into a pile of pink sparkles with it. I won't, Miss Lovely. And with one whisk of the wand, he was gone. Vanished into thin air. <laughs> What is it, Worm? Uh, nothing. And don't call me Worm. Then why are you standing at the door waving that thing at me? It's not a thing. It's a magic wand. It's pink. So? And fluffy. Yes, it is. It's pink and fluffy. And it's my magic wand. Well, Miss Lovely's really, but she's lent it to me for the weekend and... Let's have a closer look at it. <laughs> now that's what I call magic. <laughs> no! Cool. That worked. Big strategy meeting tonight. Thanks for being the guinea pig worm. <laughs> Hello, sweetie bun. Yes. Going out to join the boys? Yes. Oh, that's nice, dear. What's the matter, Fluffy Wuffy? Did the thunder frighten you? It's so easy being me. I'm Not. Now we're watching weird werewolves. Happy hippos. Weird werewolves. Give it back. It's mine. No, it's mine. Mine. <sighs> Mom! Don't be horrid, Henry. You know it's Peter's turn to watch happy hippos. Oh, I don't want to watch happy hippos. Oh, I want to watch weird werewolves. N-O spells no, Henry. You're watching Happy Hippos and that's final. Hee 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 hee. No! Mum says Happy Hippos live in Happy Hippo Valley. Really? How fascinating. 
And Mum says happy hippos are happy all of the time. Really? And how does she know that? Mum knows everything. I bet she doesn't know that the happy hippos are really weird werewolves in disguise. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Think about it, Peter. Have you ever seen happy hippos at night? Well, no, but that's because I'm not allowed to watch television at night. No, Peter. It's because at night they turn into weird werewolves. No, they don't. Yes, they do. <coughs> We are snappy, snappy werewolves! Eek! Time for phase two of Operation Weird Werewolf! Excuse me, Henry. I need to brush my teeth. Henry? You're reading a book. Mm, it's a really interesting book. What's it about? Promise you won't tell. I promise. It's called The Werewolf Spotter's Guide to Spotting Weird Werewolves. Really? I borrowed it from Dad's bookshelf. It's a very scary book. Really? It's so easy being me. I'm What are those, Dad? These, Henry, are gold dust. They're tickets to the Gross Class Zero movie premiere. I didn't think we were in with a chance, but I guess today's our lucky day. <laughs> it certainly is! This calls for a cup of tea. Oh, what are we celebrating? Only tickets to the Gross Class Zero movie premiere. Yes! Oh, that's nice. Who are you taking? Henry, Henry of, of course. course. Not according to the Good Day, Bad Day chart. But oh, no buts. The Good Day, Bad Day chart says that Henry had a very bad day yesterday. But... So you'll have to find someone else to go with. But that's not fair! But I have to go with a kid. I can't get in without a kid. Well, you could ask Peter. But he hates Gross Class Zero. <laughs> that's what he says. What did you say, Henry? Nothing. I suppose we could always give the tickets away. No! Well then. You're just going to have to have a good day today, aren't you, Henry? A very good day, Henry. Be good, Henry. Be very good. Be very good? But how? Roly, 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 mo. Introducing very good Henry. Ready for action. Hand them over, good boy. Why are you dressed like a pirate? Because I'm being a very good pirate. Now hand them over. But that doesn't make sense. There's no such thing as a very good pirate. Yes, there is. You're looking at one. Now hand over those toilet rolls. Won't. Will. Won't. Will. Won't, won't, won't. Now look what you've done, Henry. What you've done, you mean? Everything all right, boys? Yes, Mum. Everything's all right. We're being very good. I'm very glad to hear that. Carry on. Phew. That's not fair, Henry. You know it's my turn to stop the toilet rolls this week. Life's not fair, very good boy. Don't call me very good boy. You're only doing it so you get a good day, aren't you? Well, yes. It's so easy being me. I'm I think it's going to rain. Sorry, I'm late. Just missed the rain. Oh. Is it fancy dress? Eh? 
I am the Merry Magician. Are you now? Well, I like to get up. Is that velvet? Are you open to magic us, Peter? What do you think? I don't know. I like a bit of magic, I do. Oh, I don't know if I like magic. Do I or don't I? Oh, oh dear. These carrots are magic. Now you see it? <laughs> no, they no, don't. <laughs> Not sure that's the kind of magic he's talking about, are you? You were saying, Henry? Huh? Ooh, what was I saying? You were going to say something horrid to Peter! <laughs> was I? Well, I don't think I was. Come and sit next to me, Peter. Come on, you can help us plan the raid on old bogey brain next door. Have a biscuit, Peter. Could I have a go? Oh, uh, yes, but be really careful. It's a very special magic wand. It's all right. I know how to handle a magic wand. All magic wands are special. My dad was a magician. Thought you said he was a musician. Magician, musician, all the same thing, really. Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> Good day to you, young gentlemen. And how are we today? Very well, thank you, Mr. Sullington. Oh, nice one, Master Ralph. Hey, anyone fancy a quick game before we go in? <laughs> oh, go on then. Just a quick one. Ah, Henry, do come in. We were wondering when you'd get here. Now, girls and boys, where did we get to? Please, miss, we were discussing whether girls are better than boys. Oh, yes, so we were. And had we reached any conclusions? We thought probably boys were better at some things and girls were better at others. Margaret, I do appreciate you wanting to join in, but let's see what Henry has to say first, shall we? Of course, Miss Battleaxe. Well... Bert, do you have a view on this? Well, if I had to choose, I would say that... I would say that... It's so easy being me, I'm Hart Henry! Oh, I could see stew. Lots of it. Oh, I'm so hungry I could even eat stew today. What's a pudding, Graham? More stew. 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 Oh, <laughs> all right then. We'll go to lunch. But you're in charge while we're gone. Um. Any reason why not? I don't know. Exactly. It's just till we get back. And remember, don't let anyone on the climbing frame while we're gone, especially girls. Uh, I don't know. It's lunchtime, Bert. Aren't you going to have any lunch? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Come on, we've got to hurry. Hey, Bert, enjoy the stew. Hang on a minute. If Bert's going to lunch, then who's guarding the climbing frame? I don't know. <laughs> This time, it's personal. This is just a small setback, leader of the Purple Hand Gang. Look! The climbing frame is here. The girls have viewpoints from here, here and here. But there's a small gap here, which leaves them vulnerable to attack. Then let's do it! Go and get 
I'm stuck! The tough get going! Come back with that you horrible little boy! 